I had a 100% block in my right artery, two other arteries at 70%. I had a left bundled block, a heart murmur. I had an enlarged heart with leaky valves and scar cytosis of the right side of my heart muscle. I would sit there and say, God, if you get me out of this mess, I promise I will give something back to this world. And it won't just be, you know, like my self-improvement. I want to do something good and big. I wake up one day and I feel incredible pain in my chest. And they give the analogy of it's like an elephant on your chest. They, they were so right. I would sit there in bed and I would just wait and breathe slow and I'd say something is really wrong. And it wasn't getting better. In fact, it was getting worse. And I remember once going to some location and I literally couldn't take seven steps without stopping. And it was during the day and it was like my chest was really hurting and I'm like, ah, oh, man, something's really wrong. I gotta go see the doctor. And they did every single test other than a heart catheter and a heart biopsy. And the test results came back and they said, the uh, cardiologist said to me, well, listen, we need to do a heart catheter and a heart biopsy next. But the indicators are you may need a heart transplant or bypass surgery. So we're being wheeled in toward the surgical ward and he stops, he looks at me, says, hey, Paul, you know, I've only done this for two, one other patient in 20 years. Would you consider a nutrition change instead of having bypass surgery today? And I'm like, yes, <laughs> immediately, I'll do anything. Well, I didn't know what this meant. I had never heard of whole food, plant-based. I just knew I didn't have to have surgery today. I, everything that was processed, all meat, dairy, and oil was removed from my house that day. So I went whole food, plant-based, perfect that day. And now the journey just began. So here I am, uh, two, two weeks into it, I'm eating vegetables that I never liked. And I'm like, okay, well, okay, you could just ignore that and have bypass surgery, or you could just try and fill up, eat a lot of this, because I mean, like, I never ate kale, never even heard of kale. It was iceberg lettuce, you know, that was the big thing. And, uh, you know, I just, I, uh, 14 days in, I started saying, wow, this isn't so bad. I'd follow the recipe. So I realized I was not a good cook. So I went to Dr. Esselstyn's half-day seminar where they teach you how to cook. And I said, oh my God, that's my mission. I was on that gurney. I promised the Lord I would give something back. So here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna put a little ad in the paper and I'm gonna invite anybody in the community to come to my house if they have any heart concerns. And I only knew about heart because that's what I, I had heart disease. I didn't know about diabetes or obesity or you know anything else that would be, you know, benefit from whole food plant-based. So we started having our meetings and it kept growing and growing and growing. When people have a problem with alcohol, they go to AA. And the reason is they need a support crew, like-minded people to get through that moment or get through that day. We created that same model with making a food change. Because it is not just a food change, it's a lifestyle change. And we would just start having more people and more people because people were willing to consider nutrition before pills and procedures and they were not getting the answer from their doctors. So they came to our organization for those answers and we'd have the experts talk to them. So here we are today at the Plant-Based Nutrition Support Group. We're closing in on 6,000 members in about four years. I feel great. My cholesterol number is under 100, so I went from 347 to under 100. I have lost almost 70 pounds, and I've kept it off. I'm now 60 years old, and I want to enjoy the next 20 years, 25 years, and I think by eating this way, I am going to do it. <laughs>